Hi, my name is Lisa Precht, and this is the first of a number of videos that I'm going to post on my website um, of things that I do to help um, help us to stay healthy as a family. Uh, I don't really like to use traditional medicine, although I definitely believe in it, that there's a place for it. Um, and I am not at all ashamed to say that if I have a bad headache, I'll grab an aspirin or a Tylenol or something and um, I'm certainly not somebody that's so crazy that I'm not going to use a, a traditional MD if my kids are in trouble or, or need something. But I guess I just really believe that God put everything that we need on the planet and sadly um, our generation has just gotten so far removed from being able to search out all of the good medicines that are in nature. We're, we're not taught and it's not been handed down to us to go out into our backyard and pick leaves or um, get bark off trees or berries or things like that to use um, because they've been put there for our use and they really work. Um, so I've really got an interest in learning about this. I think it's fascinating and to be honest, so many of these things really work. Um, and you know, every other commercial on television is a drug ad and you know, I think they, Sadly, so many people are are just um, have been sold a bill of goods that if you know the government um, makes it that it must be okay. And you know, there's a lot of great medicines. Thank goodness that we have antibiotics and um, and Tylenol and all those good things. You know, they can be great. And there's a place for them, but um, but the big drug companies can't patent. Um, you know, ginger or garlic or echinacea and things like that that are found in nature because they weren't made by them. They were made by God. Um, so anyway, I, I want to do a series of videos um, on things that I like to use and ways to show you how to use them. They're easy, they're safe, um, and a lot of them taste really, really good. So it's really, you know, it's really not hard to get your kids to be on board with this type of healing practice. Um, so the first thing that I'm going to make today is something called fire cider. And, you know, unfortunately, if I would have made this a month ago, uh, it would be ready for me now because I've been suffering with kind of an upper respiratory chest kind of thing that my kids both got. And if you're a mom, um, like me, you know that we're so busy taking care of everybody else and um, we get close to our kids and we're snuggling with them and we're trying to get them to feel better and then what happens we get sick and then everybody's off to school and work and guess what there's no way to take care of us so um, we kind of got to suffer through it so i've been suffering through it for the last few days and feeling a little bit better i've been doctoring myself quite a bit with some other kind of remedies which i'll share in another video but this fire cider is something that um, people have been using for generations and it's a very um, very medicinal type of a vinegar that's very spicy and hot and if you know anything about um, healing medicines in nature um, spicy healing things are are spicy hot things are really good for us because they help to fight off the bad guys in our bloodstreams and in our bodies and um, they're also very warming and can help with um, kind of pushing kind of pushing that um, bad uh, bad stuff out of our body because it's warm and it's almost it almost acts as your body's own heater like your uh, like what happens when you have a, f a fever so um, I want to show you what I've done I've grated up some ginger in a bowl here. I don't know if you can see this, but um, ginger is kind of kind of tricky to grate actually. So you can grate it with a hand grater. It takes forever and if you're really, like me, you're really nervous about shaving the ends of your <laughs> fingers off. So I don't recommend it. If you have a food processor, use that. Um, another thing that it calls for is horseradish, which um, it's kind of a little hard to find. Uh, I found it at Cub actually and um, I don't think they use a lot of it because a lot of the pieces of it didn't look so good but I grabbed the last two pieces of it in fact when I went up to pay for it the woman had no idea what it was um, that's how rare I think you know they they sell it um, so this recipe calls for um, onion and garlic and ginger root horseradish um, 
apple cider vinegar, honey, and cayenne powder. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it and then I'll post the recipe uh, on my website as well. So we are going to start by, I've got a big jar here and any kind of a clean jar is fine or something with a lid, uh, a bottle is fine too as, as well. Um, and I've chopped up an onion and peeled it and so I'm just taking that and I'm putting it in the jar here. So we're going to put that in the jar and I'll show you what this looks like when I'm all done. And the next ingredient is four to five cloves of garlic. So I'm going to tell you, maybe another reason that this is so good for you is because it keeps all the other people that are sick away from you because you smell so bad. Hold on. Okay, so um, four to five cloves of garlic. And what I've done is I've just got a jar here of already chopped up garlic because I just didn't feel like uh, chopping it. And I had this already. So I'm going to do one, two, I'm totally eyeballing it, three, four, and a half. So there's my four to five cloves of garlic. Uh, three to four tablespoons of freshly grated ginger root. And I'm just going to use my fingers to put this in the jar here. So a tablespoon is probably about that much. I don't know if you can see the lighting. It's probably bad. I am not a videographer, guys. I'm just a regular old mom uh, trying to share my information. There's two, three. We need three to four, so I'm going to do three and a half. I really like ginger a lot. My kids will tease me all the time because I know they think I'm a little bit of a freak when it comes to this kind of stuff. But my daughter who's in college actually um, is starting to take on some of these great habits by um, rubbing lavender on her feet at night and drinking tea and you go girl. I think that's awesome. Um, okay, and three to four tablespoons of freshly grated horseradish root. And I've got to grate that so I will be right back. <laughs> 